Back to the horse stance. Shift, inhale. First one we're gonna do today is gonna to be where we have our feet a little wide. Our hand's gonna scoop up to the shoulder and then come out to the side. So we can just go to the other side here, scoop. Other part of the circle goes to the side. Go a little wider. When I shift my weight, that's when I scoop to the shoulder. And then the hand goes with the hips. So now I'm on this side, left side, scoop. My left knee bends. My hand and my hips move together. Inhale. Exhale. You can let your back round a little when we scoop. Inhale. And your back straightens up as you exhale. And then if you can coordinate, your hands move at the same time to here and then out. Hands move at the same time. Hand to your hip, hand to your shoulder, and then out. In, out, in, out. Then the next part, the same exercise, when I start to scoop to the side, I'm gonna let my foot turn out. So instead of my weight going with it, it's just the foot that turns out. And then stretch out like I'm trying to reach the wall. And then my wrists bend, my elbows bend, my shoulders round and sink down. So then I go to the other side, I shift my weight, hand to the hip, hand to the shoulder, and the arm goes out, the foot goes out. Like someone's pulling my arm, stretch, and then wrist bend. Put your hand in front of your navel, let your elbows bend, let your shoulders round, and bend and sink down, and then back up. Back to the horse stance, shift, Inhale, exhale, in, out. So if whatever direction your knee is going, your foot should be going that same way. So I go back to here, my toes are straight, my knees are straight. By the time I start to shift out, my toes go out, my knee goes out. Bend, wrists, elbows, shoulders, sink down. Let's try one more on each side, then we'll go on to the next one. In. Out. You kind of make it all in the one exercise. In. Out. Next one. Bring our feet in so we're about shoulder width apart. The knee goes over the ankle. And the back foot, you turn it on an angle. And then we're gonna circle our hands like around a tabletop, going clockwise, and then we shift our weight. If our hands are forward, our knees forward. Hands back, knee bends. Inhale, exhale as you push away. In, out. Now we try to make it smooth, in, out, in, out. Instead of looking at your hands, try to look towards the front. In, out, in, out. Just nice and smooth. Some of you might be going a little slower, a little faster. Just go at what's comfortable. Just getting that shifting going. So after again, about 10 or so, we're gonna shift to the other side. So again, about shoulder width apart. Back foot straight, or back leg straight, and foot turned. Now we're gonna go counterclockwise. First it's the arms, and then the shoulders, and then a little bit more of your spine, and then shift the weight. Inhale when you pull in, exhale when you push out. In, out. And out, smooth and fluid. In, out, in, out, in, out. All right, next one. And come in a little closer again. 
I'm going to turn the feet 45 degrees to the left after you start out parallel. Turn to the left, and then we spin the big ball. Hand to the opposite hip, hand to the opposite shoulder, round your back. Try to trace your side all the way to your shoulder, to your elbow. You get to here, your arms push against one another. This left hand is level with the nose, other hand underneath by the elbow and the funny bone, and then sink down, and then back up. And then we just pivot to the other side, so our feet are still shoulder width. Here I can arch and then round the back. Find the side, follow the arm, a little bit of resistance pushing out, other arm pushing in, pulling in. Inhale, exhale. And when I round my back at the end, I dip my chin, let each part of the back round a little bit. I'm ready to go with the back being straight again. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, pivot, in, out, in, out. In this position right here, this uh, particular stance is one of the key parts to the whole set that we'll be putting together. These are all the component parts again. In, out, in, out. Next exercise. Scoop to the shoulder and then out to the side. Scoop to the shoulder, out to the side. Scoop to the shoulder, hand to the hip, out to the side. Scoop to the shoulder, hand to the hip, out to the side. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Next one, hand to the shoulder, other hand to the elbow. They go as a set. Hand to the shoulder, hand to the elbow. Twist as a set. Let your knees bend, point your toes in. If that's comfortable, your knees should be fine just bending not in, but with the toes in, and then the knee goes over the toes. So again, hand to the shoulder, hand to the elbow, inhale, exhale, in, out. Next one will be just to brush again, your forearms against each other, and then the hand will still come back to the elbow. In, out. So you create a little bit of friction, resistance, and then relax and breathe out. In, out. Next one, hand to your face, other hand to your underarm. And gently twist like a spring, and then back to where we started. Left side, in, out. Back to where we started. Right side, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. You can breathe wherever you feel comfortable, but in general, whenever you squish and twist, that's the spot to let the breath out. All right, last one, three parts. One, two, slide up your arm, behind your neck, and then to the sides like we did earlier with this position. Just now I keep my toes in, my knees point in. To go again, one, two, three, relax and sink. Hands turn up, one, two is the wrap, three, stretch over the top to the sides, hands back, knees down. Flick, one, two, three. One more, one, two, three. Relax, let your arms down, let your feet go straight again. Next exercise, and put our feet fairly close. 
If it's a little hard to balance, you keep your feet wide, but feet close. Hands come up and then twist. Each finger, each part of the wrist, gently twist to your left. And then the hands come together, make a triangle shape, and reach for your right hip as you let your knees bend. So we'll again start like a T, twist into a W shape, and then twist to the left. As you unwind, your hands come together, your knees bend, and come to your right hip. So again, T, twist, twist to the left, turn to the right. Okay, we're gonna add on. Arms make a, a ball shape. We come up, we still twist to the left, but we keep that ball in front of us. And then back to the right. Come up to your shoulder height, twist to the left, and then just back in front for now. So feet are together, arms out like a T, twist, inhale, exhale. So we come back, make the triangle, squish the breath out again. We come up, here's the ball, inhale, squish through the center, exhale. Shoulder height, inhale, past your face, Exhale as you reach for that opposite wall. My feet are still forward. My shoulders and spine, everything gets a gentle twist as I reach for that side. Back to the beginning. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. So that was the first one. Second one, in. Out. Third one, shoulder high, in. Out. Take the hand that's out. Bring it over to the left corner, put your foot towards the left corner, and then we come back to that stance again. Same one we were in a minute ago when our feet were this way or this way. Now I'm just towards the corner. So it gets a little complicated, but it's all like either straight lines going forward or backward or circles that are on those lines. So once again, from here, in, out, all the way to there, in, out, in, out, in, out. It's the last part, I dip my chin, round the shoulders, round the back, and look towards that hand that's extended out. All right, this is one of those exercises, again, just keeps adding on. We'll try one more part, in. Out, two, out, three, out. Now instead of this hand just being over to here, it's like I'm holding onto a plate and I'm gonna bring it over my head. So from here, and then to the corner. With that hand position again, if the plate had food on it, you didn't want it to drop, until right here, and then poof, just drops towards the floor. One more time, putting the whole thing together. In, out, stomach height, out, shoulder or face height, out, do a little plate turn, step to the front corner, relax and sink. Now we gotta do the same thing, but starting it all on the right side. So we twist to the right, inhale, exhale. Stomach height, in, out. Shoulder height, breathe out. Reach for the wall, hold on to the plate. Put your foot and your hand towards the corner, finger by your funny bone, round and sink. Let's try one more again. T into a W, twist. Hands make the triangle by your left hip. Here's the ball in front by your stomach. Squish through, hands by your hip. Ball in front of your shoulders, your face. Breathe out. Now again, either the hand could have just come to here and then to the corner, or like you have that plate and you're spinning it, 
now it falls and then we sink and dip your shoulders. Let's try again on the right side. T, twist, no W in, out. Stomach height, and breathe out. Shoulder height, and breathe out. Do a fancy turn with the hand. Foot and hands go to the corner. Relax and sink. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. One more, a little deeper. Exhale. All right, again, another component. This is a, a finishing exercise, it's a, a breathing movement. So pin your elbows back, hands to your sides, like you're trying to touch the walls, and then forward. We did something like this last month, but we were in the horse stance. And then palms up, back to your hips. So again, reach back, in, out. Palms up, head up, in, out. So if we were gonna do this like next time, we'll link a whole bunch of these exercises together. So instead of it being like, say 10 separate exercises, it'll be 10 all connecting together. So the last part, we finish with the breath in, out. Another breath in, out. Hands come back behind to the sides, in, out, in, out, again, in, out, in, and out.